Hey there, YouTube. So, this side of the show with some more gameplay of my IS here. Because, well, I love my IS. It's, it's an overall good tank. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a, a pain in the ass once you start off with it because it's like, um, you need 12,000 experience to research a turret for this thing so you can put on the, uh, the 122 caliber guns, which took me a while. Because I already had one of the 122 guns researched from when I was using my KB-1S, and it took me a while to get that 12,000 experience to get the turret so I can get the gun. And I finally got it. And it's pretty good, too. It's, it's pretty good. So... The other thing about this tank is uh, the, the tracks are kind of uh, exposed, but if you can angle your tank right, they can't uh, penetrate you. They'll just bounce shots off of you. I haven't quite mastered that yet, but... Anyways. To the battle. Because that is what's important right now. I never knew a Panzer 5 and 10 got 1300, uh... Armor points or whatever. I never knew. I always thought it had like 700 something health or so. Or 800. Huh. Well, now I know. Apparently there's an M4 up there. Clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he's dead. There's a KV-1S over there. This, I don't know what the Stug's doing. I hope he's not about to go across that bridge, because that's like death right there for him. The T-29 over there, KV-1S, that's instant death for him. A T-20? Huh. I never did finish with my T-20. I made it to like 20,000 experience or so, or 30,000, and then I gave up. It was just, the tank's a pain in the ass to use. I couldn't do it. Fucking gave up. There. Right on the other side of that concrete wall. I can actually shoot through this train car. But first that concrete wall needs to be destroyed. There's a T-29 over there and a KV-3 that's going up the bridge. Let me see if I can get this KV-3. Uh, I can't even see him from there, man. Miss just slightly above his turret. Dude just went right out in front of my shot, and I pretty much accidentally killed the guy. God damn it! How did I not penetrate his armor, but he could penetrate mine? That didn't make any fucking sense. Here comes a T29 to fuck shit up, and now I'm dead. Nice. Clearly didn't think that through. 
That fucking VK went right out in front of me. Oh well, his mistake, not mine. I was just the guy that accidentally shot him. Either way, I probably wouldn't have penetrated that T-29's turret anyways. It was it won because he was at an angle, so it would have just bounced straight off, so... Either way, that just means I lose uh, a bunch of credits and stuff. No big deal. I'm trying to hurry up and get done with this five, uh, this uh, M5A1 store. I've had this thing for months now, and I, 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 can, I, I hate it. It sucks. I hate it. Or not months. I've had it for about a month. Month and a half. This tank right here sucks. It is horrible. It barely penetrates. I get the 47 mil gun on this thing and it, it barely penetrates. Honestly, don't know what to do in this kind of battle. This this battle uh, it's gonna be a problem for me. I'm gonna race this PZ-38. We're racing. I'm catching up to him pretty quick. I'm going like 65 miles per hour. The only thing that's good about this thing is the speed and how fast it turns. The turret turns pretty quick too. Damn it, not lag now! I could have gotten that shot off too. If I can hit that Su-76, that'd be nice. Have like two shots to kill him. Sweetie five B down there. Well, I'm turning around. Oh, mother of God! It's way too close. I'm gonna be like a roadside cop and hide behind the billboard because why not? Is that a War Thunder ad? It looks like a War Thunder ad. It really does. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I think it does. Churchill 3. I don't know if I could penetrate his kind of armor. I wanna see. That Stug 3 pretty much suicided his ass. Son of a bitch. That motherfucker snaps on target pretty damn quick. The Su-85 is over there again. And there's a Su-76 somewhere out there. You guys gotta spot that Su-76 and get him out, cause... I can't see him from here, but I know he came from somewhere off in that direction over there. Just can't see him. It's a problem. It really is. I could kill him right now. Just mercy kill, both of them. But then somebody would have mercy kill me, so... I'm kidding. I wouldn't mercy kill a teammate. Not unless I had to. It's, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's like, uh, for the sake of the team, if we wanna win, I'm gonna have to kill you and use your dead tank for cover. Dead. Oh, it's a Su 85B. I was afraid of him for what? This is a Su 85B. I thought it was a regular Su 85. Then I noticed the B in the name. I'm like, oh. 
fuck was I scared of him for? There you are. I think we got this. I'm surprised I'm still alive this far. Oh, I just realized that 276 is dead. So. We can go now. They got a Panzer IV, a T-28, and like three already still left. The already is probably somewhere over here. Like, halfway in between where I am and their base. Like, over this hill right here. They're probably over here. If I can, I want to get that C-26, because he's going to have the least amount of health, and it's going to be the easiest to kill. No, but I found the Panzer IV and the T-28. And pretty much all of their arty. Found him! The C-26 is over there, too, but that Panzer IV is in the way. Go on ahead, AMX-40. Watch. Three. Two. One. Boom, he's dead. Wait for it. Three. Two. C-70. The C-26 is right over here by me. Fuck you, kill stealer. <sighs> That'd have been my kill. If it hadn't been for our arty. <sighs> Alright, but enough with my rage. Um, we'll see you next time for part three. You know, if I feel like it. I probably will, so, you know. Stuff.